Yeah. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I want to thank the gentleman from Texas for yielding me the customary 30 minutes, and I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Uh, oh, my God, Mr. Speaker. Uh, let's get real here. Nothing about this is serious. Not the process, not the intentions of the resolution sponsor, not the impeachment case, not a single damn thing. Yesterday, Republicans dishonored this House and dishonored themselves by bringing to the floor a ridiculous censure resolution against Adam Schiff because Donald Trump told them to. And today, they're dishonoring this House and dishonoring themselves by bringing to the floor a ridiculous impeachment referral resolution against Joe Biden because Donald Trump told them to. This body has become a place where extreme, outlandish, and nutty issues get debated passionately and important ones not at all. In short, Mr. Speaker, the Republican Party is a joke. They talk about law and order when their front run front runner for president has been indicted on federal charges. They talk about respecting law enforcement, then they come in here and downplay the rioters who came in here on January 6th and beat up cops with fire extinguishers. I don't even know how they look the Capitol Police officers in the eye when they walk in this place. They talk about how important it is that we follow a good process. Yet the Rules Committee was called in late last night, literally at a moment's notice, where they deployed emergency procedures so we could refer this measure to a committee. What a spectacular emergency. Truly something that needed to be done immediately. We all know the truth. The real emergency here was that the Georgia wing of, and the Colorado wing of the MAGA caucus got into a fight right over, right over there on the House floor about who gets to impeach the President first. The truth is that Speaker McCarthy has lost control of this House and it is being run by the MAGA fringe. This is nuts. Kids get shot in their classrooms. Nothing. Environmental disasters destroy entire communities. Nothing. Our air is clogged with smoke because half the northern hemisphere is on fire due to climate change. Nothing. But when the MAGA wingnuts say jump, Speaker McCarthy says, how high? According to news reports, it sounds like this resolution sponsor is dictating to the Speaker which committee's bill should be referred to when he should put legislation on the floor, and how he should run this House. That's who's in charge here, the MAGA extremists. And frankly, they can try to impeach Joe Biden all they want, but all they are doing is impeaching themselves and making a mockery of this place while they're at it. I get it. They don't like that their cult leader, Donald Trump, will go down in history as one of the worst presidents we, we've ever had. They don't like that he was impeached twice and had a bipartisan conviction vote in the Senate. They don't like that Democrats tried to hold him accountable for trying to extort President Zelensky, who is now trying to defend himself from Putin. They don't like that Congress tried to hold him accountable again, this time for trying to overthrow the government on January 6th. They don't like that he had nuclear secrets in his bathroom and in his desk and God knows where else and waved them around like it was nothing. And you know what? They don't like themselves for having to stand by him time after time and defend his lies. Now, I know many re of my Republican colleagues say in private what they're not willing to say here in public, which is that they think this is an embarrassment. But still, they are here on the floor defending a three-time loser, sexual abuser, ex-president that has been indicted more times than he's been elected. It is pathetic. And instead of dealing with their own issues, Republicans are going after Joe Biden to try to distract and to deflect. House Resolution 503 claims President Biden is intentionally facilitating a complete and total invasion of the southern border. This resolution claims that foreign cartels have complete control of our border. Seriously? It's insulting to the Border Patrol agents that they claim to support, the ones who put their lives on the line every single day. And by the way, just to talk facts for a second, and which I know my Republican friends hate to do, since the end of Title 42 on May 11th, unlawful entries along the southern border have plummeted. As of June 6, Custom and Border Protection has reported over 70% over fewer encounters between points of entry or unscheduled encounters per day. 
Fentanyl seizures have increased under the Biden presidency. To make that clearer for my friends across the aisle, that means more fentanyl is getting picked up at the border before it makes it onto our streets. I mean, they are attacking Joe Biden for stopping more fentanyl. It makes no sense. No, they would rather talk about building a stupid wall along our southern border that they know won't work, or about the non-binding resolution they put on the floor this week that demonizes migrants but does nothing to fix our immigration system. I mean, they have a policy disagreement with President Biden, and their first impulse isn't, let's pass an immigration bill. Their first impulse is to impeach him. Our founding fathers must be rolling over in their graves. But they're doing this all so they can distract from the fact that Donald Trump stole top secret information and stored it in his bathroom, showed highly classified Iran attack plans to people and bragged about stealing classified government documents on live TV. Trump is the legitimate national security risk. Don't come to us with this phony BS about how President Biden is the reason we have a crisis at our southern border. Republicans can yell and scream all they want. They can rant and rave so that they get on Fox News tonight. It doesn't make them right. And it's doing untold damage to this institution. They have no respect for the traditions of this House. It is grotesque. It is embarrassing and it is shameful. We aren't, deba we aren't debating matters that help or uplift people. Rather, we're debating garbage to make Trump happy. It's cowardly and it's sickening. What we have here is a joke, just like the Republican majority, which is clearly going to be a temporary majority. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I reserve my time. Gentleman from